you're about to put this in the ground and the slugs, snails, even flea beetle going to destroy it. Here's your answer. Portable, ultra fine mesh hoop tunnel. The winner every day. Now I know a lot of you have emailed me with problems with slugs and snails, even flea beetle. This is your answer. It's a portable hoop tunnel with ultra fine insect netting and we'll show you how to build it. Right, okay, so first of all, we'll need to measure and cut the wood uh, the correct size. So I want this hoop tunnel to go inside a pallet collar and inside the pallet tunnel. So we'll measure the inside diameter of the pallet collar and cut the wood. So we want to go ahead and start constructing the base. So this is batten, you will need a pilot hole uh, and some decking screws because they're quite long or if you've got long stainless steel those, those will do. So put pilot hole in. I'm using my trusty pallet collar as a workbench. Uh, which is always a good idea. Somewhere flat. And there you go. And we'll go all the way around. So we've got a nice square collar and we'll do that twice. So we've got a top layer and then a bottom layer. Last one going in. Now we have our square collar, well, rectangle collar, and we'll go ahead and we'll put some holes just here for the hoops to go in. So if you're having trouble fitting the pipe to the wood, a little bit of washing up liquid around the end and in she goes, all the way. So this is where you should be, base with hoops in and a second base cut. And this will trap the netting inside. So two identical bases and the hoops in the top. So now we want to make the batten that runs across the top. So what we'll do, we'll measure it and cut.
Now what we'll do, we'll put a pilot hole through the centre of the water pipes and attach our batten to the centre. Right. Now these are stainless steel screws and I'll put a little washer on the end uh, because these will have quite a bit of movement as you move this around constantly. So next up we want to fit the handle to the top and I've gone with a simple knob handle what it is I unscrew it it'll sit on top like that and we want to screw from underneath okay because this wood is thicker than the actual screw I'll need to put a a larger hole in there first, halfway up, and then screw her on. But, very important step, screw the hole first, and then put this on last. And it will look like this. One smaller hole. Which will fit the screw into. And then a larger hole, halfway through, Okay, so the best way to attach the netting is to layer on our side and staple gun it around until it's nice and tight. So don't let it blow away. Now I'm not going to lie, it's very very tricky to get it to this stage, to pull it all around. Pilot hole first, and then one at a time, and just pull it very gently into place. If you have smooth buttons, it'll be a lot easier. 
because it wants to catch on absolutely everything. On for the side, just so I can show you. We pull it through. Tighten as we go. And now we'll trim. Carefully. And we'll go ahead and we'll put the handle in. So now our portable insect house is born. When you pop her in, make sure the ground is flat around the edge and she'll be golden. You can even cover it up, but this will stop all your insects getting in, your flea beetle, your slugs and your snails. Nice bit of kit. Okay, so just in case you're wondering why I put a double layer of wood on the bottom. One, it's very windy here. So we get a coastal wind and it'll just blow over otherwise. Uh, you can use it without, just staple it really well and put something lighter like a plastic underneath. So I build it to last, but if you're on a sheltered spot, choose your own way of doing it on, on the underneath side. Okay, so this is how we win the war against slugs and snails. Uh, once it's on the ground, if you are uneven, just simply pile the door to dirt up. That's why having two bars makes it easier, uh, stops them coming in. It's an absolute winner. I don't know anyone else who's got a portable fine mesh hoop. Uh, we just move this around the plot as we go. Uh, it's perfect for all your tender plants. It's a real winner. Thanks for watching. And if you do enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, look around the site. Subscribe. It's well worth doing. Uh, and we'll keep you updated with loads of DIY builds and through the season growing as well. Uh, it's a one-stop shop. We'll catch you next time.